In this question, you have a parabola that has the equation y equals 9 minus 3x squared. And inside that, you have a rectangle that is touching the parabola at two points and whose bottom side is part of the x-axis. And you have to find the maximum area of that rectangle. The way to start this one is, well, to find the maximum area, you're probably going to have to go find the derivative of the area function of the rectangle. So the first thing to do is to get an expression for the area of the rectangle, and that's your normal a equals length times width, and the length of the rectangle, which is kind of the width in this case. So it's from here to here. The x-coordinate at this point here would be a, that means the length of that is a, and because this is minus a up here, this would be minus a, so that would be a as well. So that means the length is 2 times a, or 2a, and the width is just the height, which is the y-coordinate at this point, which is b, and so it's just 2ab for the area of that rectangle. Now, to find the derivative of this, you need to have one variable here, so it means you need to get a in terms of b or b in terms of a. So to do that, what you need to do is sub x equals a into this equation, and that's going to give you the y value at that point in terms of a, which is what b would be equal to. So if x equals a, then y is going to equal 9 minus 3x squared. So subbing x equals a, you get 9 minus 3a squared. So therefore, b is equal to 9 minus 3a squared. And you can sub that into here. And then you're going to have only a in that formula, or the area would be in terms of a. So 2a bracket 9 minus 3a squared. And then multiplying that out so you can more easily find the derivative. You could use the product rule, but it takes longer. So 2 9 is 18, so that's 18a. And then this times that will give you 6a cubed. From there, find the derivative. So da d little a is equal to, and deriving that you get 18, and then minus, and then bring down the power. So 3 times 6 is 18, and then reduce the power by 1, so you get 18a squared. And then from here, what I'm going to do is take out a common factor, and then I'm going to factorize this because it can be factorized, and you get 1 minus a, 1 plus a, letting this equal to 0. So a max when d a dx is equal to 0, d a d a, I mean, is equal to 0, and therefore 0 equals that expression. And from there, a equals 1 or minus 1. Now, a can't equal minus 1 because if it did, then the x-coordinate here would be minus 1, which would be incorrect. And that would, and the x-coordinate here would be positive 1. But the negatives are on this side for the x-values and the positives here. So this is not a, a solution here. Only this one is here, a equals 1. So that means the maximum area happens when a is equal to 1. And to find the corresponding area, so therefore the the maximum area, you're just going to sub a equals 1 into the area expression which you got over here, or which I got over there. So 18a minus 6a cubed, and subbing in a equals 1, minus 6 times 1 cubed is 6, and 18 minus 6 is 12. So 12 square units, and that's the value of the maximum area. So again, with this kind of problem, to get started, you always need to focus on what it is you're trying to find. And by focusing on finding the maximum area, just the fact that it's the maximum is a clue that you're going to need the derivative, or you're more than likely going to need the derivative of the area function. So the next step is to find the area. And then once you've found the area, realize that you need to get this in terms of one variable only. And then you have to use this equation to do that. And then once you've got that area, you can easily find dA, dA, and then from there find the maximum area. So focusing on the question is the way to get started in the harder math problems in math methods. 
So that's about it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next one.